now, News 2 at 4. A woman's alleged abuser was supposed to stay away from her, but police say he got to his ex undetected and killed her. Well, today, bail bond companies tied to the case were called before Nashville's criminal court judges to get their side of what went wrong. Metro's criminal court clerk's office already admitted a paperwork error that allowed Bryson Rivers to be released without initially communicating his bond conditions, like staying in Nashville. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry has been following this story and has more now on the testimony presented in the courtroom. Caitlin? According to court documents, the judges say today's hearing is to ensure the reliability of the bond companies, Brooks bail and on time bonding, and to determine the facts of the release. Employees with the Brooks bond bail bond took the stand first, followed by the owner of Freedom Monitoring. According to court documents, Bryson Rivers was released on June 24th on a $150,000 bond. Part of the conditions of Bryson Rivers release included electronic monitoring, staying in Nashville and no contact with then girlfriend Lauren Johansson. In court today, the owner and CEO of Brooks bail bond told the six presiding judges that Rivers had an ankle monitor on him when he traveled to Mississippi, but the monitor appeared to be having problems and they called him back to Nashville and he got a new monitor. At this point, the owner of a monitoring company says they found out verbally that Rivers could not leave Nashville, but they only set up an alert for around the victim's home in Mississippi, and they got the victim's address from Rivers. I asked why was he, why did he even go there initially, and they said there was issues with the address. So when I talked to him on Saturday, I, I did talk to him about jobs here in Nashville, making sure that you know he had some, some things set up. He led me to believe that he was going to still stay here in Nashville. At this time, the hearing is still occurring. A common complaint from the bonding companies seems to say the jail did not follow protocol in releasing Rivers without a bond agent present, and the court did not provide the circumstances of Rivers' release. We will continue to keep you updated on the testimony shared in court. Mark. Caitlin, thank you so much. I want